hope you had a pleasant journey. Today. Today is our beginning. What the f That finishes up Ozarks for me. So I got Tiger King down, Ozarks down. I'm in isolation and quarantine. What should I be watching? Help me out. <laughs> it's a nice day outside. I'm in my lazy attire today. Just got a giant ass sweatshirt with some sweatpants. I thought I'd take you through a few things on the XSR as it's sitting there and there's a few things that I'm expecting in the mail and a few things that I need to remove. Both things that I get questions about all the time, what first to do on the XSR in terms of modifications, in terms of upgrades. So let's talk you through the top three and maybe a special nomination at the end for the most impactful, for the most bang for your buck, for the most <clears throat> out of your machine. Just my opinion, first three things I would do to a bike, this bike, should I pick it up off the lot today, stock. Check out this coffee bag. FU coronavirus? Shout out to Urbana right now. That is spot on. Got a package. It's always a good day, but what is this? This is a part that I need to put on my bike. We'll find out at the end of the video. There it is. What's in the box? I know you're dying to know. Maybe not. Would you look at that? I just cleaned her. Just cleaned her. Is that a watermark? <sighs> Number one, what would you do to your bike when you pick it up from the lot? For this bike, what I did was the exhaust. SC Project Conic 70s exhaust replaced the giant stock exhaust that was sitting underneath there. Very easy install. Only issue was getting an angled ratchet to hit these bolts. Everything else, very straightforward. Sensor pops right in. You don't need to do an ECU flash. I did after the fact. Jot that down for something to do in the future. Replacing your exhaust is not cheap. I know that. You walked off the lot, you already spend almost nine grand. Now you gotta go spend another five to 800 bucks. Worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. You need that growl. <sighs> Last note on the SC project is they have switched it up a little bit. I do know that they moved the O2 sensor forward a little bit, so I'm seeing a lot of guys that have trouble reaching that cord length all the way to where it is now. Mine is here. Theirs is somewhere up in here, so that actually this length of cord is having trouble reaching. Not a big deal, just something to think about when you get that exhaust and are installing it. All right, what's the second thing, I wonder? Oh, this giant ass headlight. Get rid of it. This thing's bigger than my head. I actually called it a turtle head when I first got it, the way that it sticks out. You can pick your kit up from Brogue Motorcycles. Brogue Motorcycles has a couple different options. I went with the basic one, but do yourself a favor and swap that headlight out. Look how big this thing is versus that. So clean, so clean. That used to be that. Halogen bulb versus LED. Clean it up. Now, if you go to purchase it and you look at the price tag, it is 300 and up. Again, you just walked off the lot paying nine grand and now you got your Excel exhaust for another 800 bucks. Why do I want to spend another 300 plus to clean this up? This is your bike, make it look good. So much better. What's item number three? Well, I can tell you is kind of what I'm doing right now. Item number three is removals, the cheapest, the easiest, what you should remove right when you get the bike, besides your hoodie. What I'm removing now, something you may have to put back on, but it's an aesthetic ugh, a bugaboo of mine. Passenger tags. If you're riding alone all the time, take these off and leave them off. What do you need them there for besides if you get a girlfriend or if your wife decides to start riding with you, which I doubt. All right, let's take a poll. How many wives or girlfriends or just friends are riding on the back of your bike? Hit it up in the poll. 
After removing passenger pegs, which are the easiest removal, what's next? For starters, kill off all those reflectors if you can. They're an eyesore. Or buy ones that are white, not yellow and amber. All the reflectors here, and I believe there was one up here. Get rid of them. You don't need them. Just growl past them with your new exhaust. They'll hear you. They don't need to see you. This is the old headlight bracket. And in North America, the old headlight, or the original headlight, there's a spacer between this bracket and the headlamp itself. I threw it away, because who wants it? Get rid of it. If you don't need it, it is trying to abide to US regulatory laws by making your turn signals wide enough per law. It's like 14 inches or something. It will narrow your bike and make it look more sleek. A thing you will need is a different set of bolt. I'll put the bolt sizes here. I used to have them have converted the headlight. That was step two, so I've taken those off. But I'll put the bolt sizes here if you choose to keep this, but need to remove your spacers. Lastly, or what I can think of to remove initially with a little bit of coin is this jack-o'-lantern. Look at the size of that thing. Take it off and replace it with Something like this. This is a Shinyo, it's an original one that I had on my front headlight, but replace it with Motodemic ones. Only thing you'll need is some M8 adapters that you need for Yamaha. You'll need two of them per light, and they fit any M8 size adapter. Get rid of this, replace it with this. It's an LED, it's bright, it's all you need. Get rid of this and replace it with this. What is there even to debate? This is like four inches and orange, not even an inch, and the modern technology of an LED. Get rid of it. Other notable mentions to remove, but you'll need to buy something to make sure that you replace them properly. Front fender, you can swap it out. The front fender stock comes and it is plastic and it wraps all the way around the wheel. Pick up one, maybe $80. This one is from SW Motec. The next one I can think of is mirrors. You can remove the stock mirror. This is my replacement mirror. I only have one, but the stock came up to about here. Look how much more clean that is. The rear fender, tail tidies can be kind of expensive, but on this bike, there's a lot of options. A lot of options out there that can be cheap. I chose one to keep it kind of like a cafe racer. So that is something to remove, but yet you have to replace. Another removal could be the radiator grill, the side covers and the front cover of the radiator grill. The stock that I got was giant silver, an eyesore when you look at this thing. So I swap mine out with a black one. Cleans it up, makes it look sleek. Now I can list my grips, my levers, speedo reload, handlebars, blacking out all of this, the side fender, that, adding the chain guard. But that's just a whole nother video. The last thing that I wanna mention in terms of what you should update your bike with, in terms of modifications, would be your seat. Get out of your box. <sighs> Hopefully that didn't have a light or anything breakable in it. Check out this seat. Look how thin it is. The stock seat is decent for this bike. It's not too bad compared to a lot of stock bikes that you see. I wanted something custom. I wanted something that only Brogue motorcycles could help me out with. Slim the foam and actually re-vinyl seemingly leather. But actually it's marine grade vinyl. That vinyl will actually hold up over time rather than leather. It'll do well with the weather, the elements, everything that you put it through. It fell again. Let's see what's in this box. I just realized there are birds chirping everywhere. Welcome to spring, guys. Didn't bring a knife, so I'm gonna use my trusty XSR key with another upgrade that you should get. Remove before flight, cappuccino moto, key lanyard. What's in the box? What is it? It is actually a part that I had to remove and actually lost when I repainted my tank. It goes right here. Pick it up from Partzilla. It's an easy 3M sticky bumper. It's a rubber bumper that actually just protects your tank. Were you thinking, why the heck did I wait until the end of this video to watch this guy put on this rubber bumper? Because you know why? The little things matter in life. The little things like this. All right, what do we need to do with this thing? Remove the 3M tape on the back, stick it on. So let's do that.
That was actually more finicky than I would have thought. Now for the grand reveal. The install of the tank bumper. It's a lot of work. I should probably go find another show on Netflix to watch. Let me know what you think of my top three things that I would swap on my bike first. Catch you on the next one. Peace.